Okay, I'm in Victoria Road, which is in St. Peter Port, so welcome along to the walk along. And I'm by uh, Millet's. Millard's. Can't even say it. Millard's, that's right. <laughs> Millard's top motorcycles, so I'm just going to weave my way in and out of these. And uh, in today's walk, I'm going down into St. Peter Port, I'm going down Mill Street, down to the market, have a look around there, then back up Fountain Street. And um, we're going to have a look what's going on. I've heard there's a lot of empty shops in Mill Street towards the top. Uh, so, as in like places to let. So I'm going to have a look at those as we go down. It is really windy today. It's not that windy around here, but on the coast it is really gusting. There's nights flooring, so they do carpets and that. I'm, I'm actually getting a, two carpets from there, delivered Monday. Quite a few places around here. There's like takeaways and stuff. So welcome along to the walk along. If you're new here, this uh, channel is all about Guernsey. So if you want to see more stuff, remember to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And hit the thumbs up if you do like this video. There's Sitar Restaurant and Takeaway. Uh, Indian. I think it's an Indian, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty sure it is. I could be wrong. I'm sure it's an Indian Takeaway. Yeah. Indian restaurant, of course it is. So you can get takeaways or sitting. And across the road here. Uh, it's a good earth. That's a Chinese takeaway. And uh, yeah, I've been there a few times as well. Get a takeaway. Yeah, it's nice for It's a Trinity. Trinity Square is just down there. Um, and you'll, there's some really le nice little places down here, actually. And um, I walk down this little bit here. So we've got some cobbled streets, which is always nice to see. And these are the small little roads in St. Peterport. I don't know if you'd have been around here. If you've ever visited St. Peterport, you may have wandered around here. This isn't like the main high street. It's uh, just up from there. So we're going to walk down Mill Street. Mill Street is a hill. I'm going down it, which is good. Yeah, this is really pretty around here. I could go down there. I'm just going to wait for this car to get out of the way. I've got one of these again. You see these around. There's another one at, in Trinity Square. Right, just further up. Little water pumps. Very narrow little roads. Yeah, so apparently there's loads of um, properties or businesses to let or empty places top of Mill Street you normally see that let me know if you've ever been to Mill Street leave in the comments below it's a bit further down so this is like the back roads the back street so I call them you may call them something else and look <laughs> look at this sign <laughs> it's even called Back street. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, I mean, it's very, very windy today. You can't tell. On the coast, on the west coast, is horrendous. So, this is like we're going to carry on down Mill Street. So, it's quite narrow. Um, there is businesses up here. There is businesses up here. There's, as I say, I'm going to look for some empty ones. So, I've heard there's quite a few. There's the old quarter, that's a restaurant. I haven't been there for a while. But, um, yeah, it's, it can be a bit quieter up here. This isn't... I wouldn't say this is the very busy part of St. Peterport around here. It probably can be, but most people would just go to the high street, I think. Yeah, look, so there's a place empty here. I can't remember what it was here because I don't come down here enough. But that obviously was a shop, I think, of some type. And the other side, what have we got here? It's just, I'm not really sure what that is, to be honest with you. So there's another place boarded up here. Yeah, it does give you a bit of a derelict impression around here. But it's, it's, a, it's a lot nicer further down. This bit doesn't give a great impression, I must be honest. Yeah. 
Again, I can't really remember what was there. Yeah, so there is a few places. People eating there. It gets a bit lively as we head on down. So what we're going to do is I'm going to walk down to the market square. And believe it or not, they do give rain today. But it's looking all right at the moment. So we'll see as we get further down. And, um, yeah, so I hope you uh, everyone's good. And uh, thank you for supporting the channel and memberships. If you are a member, always appreciate the uh, help. And let me know if you're going to visit Guernsey or you're, or have you just visited Guernsey and you've gone home. I know a lot of people have uh, been over and gone back home. Let me know where you stayed, what you got up to. Always good to know. So scaffolding here. So there's obviously some maintenance work going on, probably painting, something like that. I love the colour of the shops down here. Look at the yellows and the blues. And it's a big change even from like a few minutes ago walking like at the top of Mill Street to now you see the difference in shops straight away. Um these are and again it's not it's probably slightly out of you know, slightly out of the main part, but there's some nice places up here. Bantai that's a good place. That's uh it's a Thai. I think it's toy. But yeah, a lot, lot nicer. Um, and as you get further down, it gets nicer and nicer. That's my personal view. You may have a different view. Top starts not too good. As you get down, a bit nicer. Which probably explains why the shops at the top are to let, maybe. Maybe it's a little bit far out for people, out just slightly out of it all. Don't know. That's just a guess. Um, yeah, Market Square is nice. Used to be obviously the old market. We'll get there in a minute. It's got a co-op inside now. A bit more modern. Oh, they keep these flags flying. These little yellow and red, green little flags. Quite a nice little touch. So, um, it's around lunchtime I'm filming this. Quite... People are sort of maybe in their lunch hour. Some sort of gallery there on the left selling art. And that's the market building in front there. And I'm going to go down. I'm sure I just felt a spot of rain then. I'm sure I did. Let's see. Yeah, it's quite a nice building, look. Been there a long time. As I mentioned earlier, it used to be the old good market in there a little bit before my time but I've seen pictures there's a co-op in there now and a post office and all that sort of stuff you know what? market street yeah it's starting to rain oh this isn't nice it's your golden lion pub yeah it's starting to come down now all of a sudden it changed I felt a slight drop on me winds come up and down comes the rain. Oh, I'll try and shelter somewhere. Let's see if I can get under here. A bit of a rainy day in St. Peterport. See, we don't always get the sun in Guernsey, contrary to popular belief. <laughs> Hopefully it won't rain too long. Maybe it's a little shower. Yeah, it's amazing how the place changes in the wet weather, doesn't it? It looks really nice in the sun. When it rains, it goes really miserable. Same as anywhere. Hope uh, I don't get too much rain on the lens of the camera. So if I do get any rain on it, apologies. 
but um, I'm just going to keep filming because uh, there's no point in stopping. So I'm sheltering under the scaffolding. Is it stopping? I'm not sure. I'm going to just cross the road. It's Market Square. No one's sat out on the seats today. If they did, they'd be a bit mad. Well, I'm just going to. Yeah, not a lot. You can see people sort of just still milling about. Cross over here. So on the left, we've got shops again. Nice little area around here. In the summer, this is, I highly recommend coming here in the summer. It's people sat outside. It's a really, really nice atmosphere. Someone's running along. Gotta be careful you don't slip on these, uh, on this pavement. You can get a bit slippery when it rains. So I'm gonna head on down. There's a little uh, shop here selling food. I might be able just to shelter under there. It looks like a shelter. So I'll see if I can get under there for a minute or so. Oh, this is not nice. Sorry if there's any wind noise. It is very, very windy. Like it normally does when the rain starts, wind picks up. Um, yeah, you see a few people sort of just sat in here, probably sheltering a little bit. It's tempting actually to get a coffee because they are selling food here and coffees, but I'm not going to. So I'm doing the video, so I'm just going to have a look around the area. Yeah, I think it's a shot. I think it's actually starting to stop the rain. I'm hoping. There we go. There's a donkey, I think. Uh, it's still raining a bit. Rain a bit. This is very busy here. And they hold stalls when the uh, cruise ships are here. Over there they sell, they like, have little stalls, market stalls. For visitors, like the cruise ships. The cruise ship visitors are packed around here. When we get a ship in. And they'll be starting again probably soon, I'd have thought. Cruise ships. So uh, if you are coming on a cruise, you'll, you'll definitely come around this area because the, um, the cruise ship docks about four or five minutes away from here, very close. All right, what's it looking like weather-wise? Uh, come on, let's go. Yep, nice little place off some tweet. So the distance, town church. Standing nice and tall. across and head on up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go along here and head up up Fountain Street walk up there uh, HMV used to be in here as far as I remember now it's Lander Green Ginger so let's obviously see what's let's see what's going on up Fountain Street I'm gonna walk the whole way up to the top towards Trinity Square and you'll be able to see what shops we got up here Should probably be a bit of traffic down this uh, Fountain Street tends to be quite a lot towards the top. Um, did my shoelace up? <laughs> so, my shoelace on done. There we I've topped it in. Ready to go. Yep, so Fountain Street, turn right, up we go.
quite noisy with traffic down there. Now it's brightening up. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think the sun's on the way out. There we go. The shower's over. That's good. So I didn't fancy getting too wet. Because in this weather, obviously, without an umbrella, I mean, with an umbrella, it's useless because the wind just blows it inside out. So <laughs> I'm pleased. I did have my hood up for a bit. Yeah, it's too nice. It's warming up straight away. It really is coming out. It's lovely. Nice to see the sun. So we had a few minutes of rain, which are good for the lawn. <laughs> We've had a lot of rain lately. Yeah, really coming out now. I see the sun. Yeah, so we're heading on up. Barber J. So, recognise anywhere? Leave it in the comments. Quite a few cars kicking around. And uh, yeah, so when we get to the top of Trinity Square, I think there's some nice flowers blooming, which I want to show you. I'm sure I saw them earlier on. Um, don't know what type they are. I've got, I've got an idea what type they are, but no, what, no matter what I say, I'll be wrong. I think they're tulips. We'll have a look when we get there. But I'm no garden expert, as you probably worked out. <laughs> Okay, we're getting there. It's on the left there. We've got the Britannia pub. Ever been in there? Ever been in there? I don't think I have ever have, actually. To be quite honest. So, uh, look at this. Uh, what's on this post box? So, so, people have been putting these on the post box. I don't know who's putting these on the post box. Post boxes. It was quite nice. It's nice, isn't it? It's a post box wall, nice woolly hat. Now I want to cross the road here to this little bit in the middle to show you these flowers I was on about. I'll take my life in my own hands. Is anyone going to let me go? I might just find a gap here and try and get through. Probably after this lorry I reckon. Let's go. Across we go. Yeah here look, so who's a garden expert? Anyone good at gardening? These are I don't know why I think they're tulips, is that right? Whatever they are, they are absolutely beautiful. Really nice. Absolutely, I mean, they're so colourful. Wow, look at that. Well, thanks for watching. Click the screen to watch another video. And remember, if you want to see more stuff on Guernsey, you can subscribe to the channel. Until the next time, take care, and I'll see you again soon.